Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. If you are like me, you must have lying around several of these PC fans and one of the things you can do with this is a mini DC generator. These fans use DC, normally 12 volts, and the fan spins. However, you cannot do directly the opposite thing that is moving the fans and collect the electricity in the terminals as you can do with a normal DC motor. In a traditional DC motor you apply a current to the terminals and the motor spins and the opposite way you spin the motor and a current is produced at the terminals. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. However, computer fans do not use normal DC motors, they use brushless motors. They use DC, but they have no brushes, therefore you cannot directly connect, collect the electricity from the terminals. However, there is a little trick to do that, and that is what we will do in this video. The first thing we will do is to extract the motor. It is difficult to see, but there are three connections, like this one, that come from the motor's armature into the PCB, and we need to desolder them. Once you desolder these three pins from the motor's armature, you can see at the back of the PCB that they are marked as L1, L2 and L3. What you need to do is to find L1 and L2, that is, these two points, and solder the cables from the motor to these two points. L3 is of no interest to us for our purposes. Internally, the coils of the motor are connected in this way. The coils are in the armature and we have three points, L1, L2, and L3. The point L3 is where two wires go together. We need to connect our wires to L1 and L2. You can see how at L3 we have two wires from the coils coming in and the other points only have one wire. So we need 
these two points to connect the cable of the motor. Ok, the cable is in place and now we can check if we are obtaining some current. As you can see, when you turn the fan, we get a voltage. Now let's put the fan back in the plastic box. Well, everything is ready. It turns out that I broke the plastic base when disassembling the motor. I added some glue here, so be careful in this operation. I connected a LED to the output of our generator. So let's see if we can turn it on. Let's blow some air. Okay, so we are obtaining at least 2.5 volts, which is what the LED needs to turn on. And of course, the speed is low. With more speed, we must be able to obtain more voltage. Well, that's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Thanks for your visit to my channel and see you in the next one.